welcome back to another random Sam epic mom book review time so yes it is as you guys have probably picked up in the past I love books books are amazing but today we're gonna join uh, talk about a different author I don't think I've ever reviewed one of hers but this is a really good one uh, this is Gina show Walter with uh, playing with fire now mm. Here's the story. Bella Jameson yeah, uh, is working at a coffee shop. She's doing a lot of different side jobs. You know, she used to have a steady job, but she's kind of, she's hit the uh, end of her tolerance. She just doesn't know what she wants to do with the rest of her life. She's trying really hard to take care of her dad, who's in a nursing home. She's trying to find more meaning in her life but she's kind of just jumping from job to job to job and she's she's not putting really any effort in because she doesn't care anymore they're just not fulfilling and one day while she's working um running late as it is a guy runs into the coffee shop and he's chased by other people whole hoopla Somehow he ends up uh, putting some sort of formula into her drink. So as she's being interviewed by the people who chased him, this crazy professor, she's actually drinking the formula. Uh, she's trying to hurry up through the interview with the authorities, authorities um, to get to another job interview. And this formula is making, just changing her whole body. So obviously she fails the interview for the new job. And she ends up at home feeling sick, like, oh my God, what did I get? And after several days of just kind of being comatose and everything, her body has changed on a genetic level that she now has superpowers. And she has powers over the elements. And, you know, it's kind of cool because we all like to think about, especially with all the superhero movies out there, like, what would be the coolest power? But <laughs> she didn't ask for these powers. She didn't, you know, expect to get them. So um, she wakes up, and there's a guy staring there at her. And he's a handsome guy, super hot. Uh, Rome Masters. And he is super, uh, works for some sort of agency that tries to control the paranormal out there. They kind of police it. And he shows up and he's hoping that she, you know, she hasn't developed the powers or whatever, that she ends up being a dud. And through a whole bunch of hoopla, he discovers, oh crap, she does. So he's supposed to take her in so they can evaluate her, see whether she's a danger or not. She is. Oh my God. Her powers are connected to her emotions. She is screwed. She is all over the place. So, this um, other guy who she calls Pretty Boy, who she is the bad guy, is trying to capture her. Rome's trying to keep her safe. Rome's trying to save her from his bosses. And Rome ends up having powers of his own. And she has just gone from the ordinary, uh, living, you know, from day to day, not really going forward at all, to all of a sudden, oh my god, she is surrounded by people who have superpowers. She is surrounded by people who want to capture her, use her, all sorts of things. Uh, the doctor who gave her this is not only being hunted, but he's also, you know, try putting her in the limelight, I guess, is the nicest way to do it. So it's, again, she's getting thrown into this whole new world, and through it, she's calling for Rome. And it's just, it's a great story. It is, she is such a smart aleck that I feel like I could be friends with her. I feel like this was somebody who I could so see hanging out with. And it's just... Guys, I don't even know how to describe this one. It is just so funny. Her trying to learn to control her powers. Rome trying to help her learn to control these powers. And figuring things out like, okay, um, 
sadness is going to cause rain and things to happen. She's going to be able to, anytime she gets really angry, fire to, you know, pop up. And it is just, again, it is a roller coaster, if nothing else. It's uh, her being scared because of being chased by, you know, guys in cars shooting at her, causing the road to, you know, freeze and ice up. And it's just, again, it's all of us, we love to fantasize about, you know, getting the powers. We love to fantasize about all the different things that could happen. But it's a key example of our emotions control us in a lot of different ways. And if you don't know how to control something, it will just overwhelm you. So again, I think this is a great book if you want something to, you know, really laugh at. Because it is just amazing to think about all the pitfalls that could happen if this happens to you. You have no say in it and it just happens. So again, if you guys get a chance, please give Playing With Fire a chance. It is a great book. And just to let you know, it does have a sequel. sequel is twice as hot of what happens with Rome and Bella after the fact. What happens after, you know, they become a couple and are moving forward and all the other mishaps that can happen in the paranormal world. And I hope you guys, if you don't uh, get a chance to read these books, at least read this author. Gina show. Showalter is a wonderful author and she really does take the paranormal and give it a sense of humor. Give it a sense of irony. And don't forget a lot of hot, hot guys to uh, imagine. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Please check out our other videos already on YouTube and give us a like and subscribe. And if you hit that bell for notifications, you'll know when we put something new out. So try to make everyday matter by finding the fun. You guys have a great one. Bye.